Yeah, so it's like asset properties, right? Like atomicity, all or nothing. So whenever you send a request behind the scenes, essentially what we do is first the request is just stored in a ledger, which is again a DynamoDB table. And then we run this two-phase protocol, which is sending prepares first to all the storage nodes, which are involved, and they all happen in parallel. And then you get the acknowledgement back whether the prepare can be prepare is done or not. If the prepare is not done, so there are no rollbacks essentially, but if the prepare is not done, then we just say that, hey, we cannot finish this transaction. But if the prepares can be done and storage nodes acknowledge that, then it is guaranteed that the transaction will actually get committed. So the next responsibility for this system is to just make sure that the transaction goes from the prepared state to the committed state. That's why it's two phase. And then we use timestamp ordering rules uh, to ensure that all these transactions, whatever they are happening in the serializable order.